What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Demsec. Today we're going to be looking at a tool release by Jordan Wright called Go Fish, which if the name hasn't already given it away is an open source fishing toolkit. Go Fish is a framework which allows the easy management of phishing campaigns. It even handles all of the malicious web pages which you can serve along with your emails. The tool is available over on GitHub, the link will be in the description. GoFish is super simple to set up. You can just grab the appropriate zip file for your operating system. It supports Windows, Mac and Linux, so you can run it on whatever you want. You'll also need an SMTP server. For our example, we're just going to use Google's. I'm just going to go ahead and wget the Linux release as I'm installing this on a DigitalOcean VPS. You can use the link in the description to get a free $10 credit, which helps us out as well. So I'm just going to head over to download. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, we can see all the different releases that are available. I'm going to grab this one here, which is the Linux 64-bit version. And I'm just going to copy the link address. I've already set up the VPS, so I can just go ahead and SSH into it. I hope you like my domain. I'm using my SSH key. So this is a totally stock installation of Ubuntu 16.04. So now I'm just going to wget the link I copied before. This will take a couple of moments. After that, I can unzip it using unzip. Once this is complete, we can remove the gofish.zip file because we don't need it anymore. And we can go ahead and change directory into the gofish folder. In here, all we need to do is chmod plus x the gofish file and do dot slash gofish. There's one other change we actually need to make because we're going to be running it from a VPS. I need to edit this config.json. So I'm going to nano config.json and I'm going to change the listen URL for the admin server. I'm going to change that to 0.0.0, .0 which tells it to listen on all interfaces so I can access it from the internet. So now I can start up the server. GoFish has now started two servers for us automatically. It has started the admin interface where we can manage our phishing campaigns. And it has also started a regular web server so that we can create our malicious clones. Because I've already set this up with a domain name, we can simply access the web portal by going to test123.iminyour.network and it's port 3333 for the admin interface. Once we're there, we can enter the credentials of admin and gofish, those are the, the default credentials. Then we are presented with the dashboard. As you can see, it's very pretty. From here, we can then add all of the necessary details to start our first campaign. To start off, we need to create a sending profile. The easiest way to understand this is these are just some server settings where we're actually going to be sending the emails out of. So firstly, we need to add a profile name. This can be anything we want, but we're going to name it Gmail because that's the SMTP service we're going to be using. The from address, in our case, needs to match the username, otherwise Gmail won't send out the email. So we've set up an email address of paddlefish20 at gmail.com. Next, we need to add the host, and this is the Google SMTP server, which is smtp.gmail.com, and it's port 587. And the username matches the from address. And in this notepad here, I've got the password for this email account. We can then send a test email. So I'm going to send one just to make sure we set it up correctly. So it says that the email has been sent successfully. So I'm going to see if it comes through on my email account. So as you can see here, the emails come through successfully. So, we've know, so we know we've set that up correctly. Now we have our sending profile set up, we can go ahead and create our first landing page. I recommend naming the landing page the same as the site that you have cloned so that you can remember it easily. In this case, we're going to use the Demsec login page. 
We are then going to import a site. This basically just means cloning a different site. In this case, we're going to use a Densex login page. So I've already copied the login page. So I'm just going to press import. We will then enable capturing of data and capturing passwords. What we can then do is add the original URL that we had, so in this case the Demsec login page, to where it's going to redirect to. This allows it to be less suspicious. So now we can save this. So I forgot to add the uh, page name, so we just need to add in the what, we, what it will be called in the campaign later on. So if we just call this uh, Demsec. And then save. Now we can move over to email templates, and this is probably my favorite feature of this entire software suite, I guess you could call it. So we're going to start off by creating a new template, and of course we need to name it something. So I'm just going to call this um, linked in because that's what the uh, email I'm going to use. You can then import an email, and uh, I think Aaron's going to really enjoy this one. I'm sure I will. So I've managed to dig up a old LinkedIn request. And what you're able to do, I have it open in Thunderbird here. I can view the source of this email address and copy, copy it in its entirety into here. As you, as you can see here, it's checked to change links to point to the landing page. So every link in this page will automatically be redirected to our landing page. I'm going to import that. In HTML, it's gone ahead and done all of that for us. So Automatically, any link on here should be now going to our uh, phishing page. It's also going to add a tracking image, and I'll show you what that does a little bit later. As far as setting up the email template, that is just about it. It's uh, as simple as it gets, and it'll all automatically grab the subject if you paste a source like that. So I can now save this template. With our email template complete, we can now create a group. A group in GoFish is essentially a list of target emails which we wish to send our malicious emails to. So if you go over to Users and Groups, select New Group, we will first add a group name. So we're just going to call this a group name. Then the first name, so I'm just going to put mine. Then the last name, my last name. Then the email address. So we're just going to use dialectdemsec.co.uk and then the position. And then we're just going to add that. So now that's done, we can save the changes. And then we can go over and create our campaign. Finally, we're ready to start our campaign. This is where we bring together everything we've just made. Ideally, this is the point where you actually need your domain because this is the point where it's going to start replacing links in emails with your domain. In our case, as mentioned before, we're using test123.iminyour.network. So I'm going to start a new campaign now. And like everything else in here, you need to name it something. So I'm going to say it, it's called Cats. Uh, the email template, we're going to use LinkedIn. Landing page, we're going to use Demsec. And this is where we need to set up our URL. So I'm going to say HTTP, colon slash slash, test 123.im in your dot network. And this is where you'd actually place the domain name you've purchased for your activity. Sending profile. Gmail and group, we're gonna, we're gonna enter group name. And at this point, we're ready to launch the campaign. So we're gonna launch it. Now it's scheduled, we can wait here and it's gonna start sending out these emails. What you also saw there, you can actually schedule emails to be sent out at specific times across months or even years. So if you using a larger list of emails and want to have a probably higher success rate, that's probably the way to go. So we've now received the email from GoFish. If we click on it now, it looks pretty legit. And at this stage, if we actually show the remote content, i.e. show the images, it's gonna load the images of the email, the ones where we're actually used to the profile picture and the LinkedIn logo, but it's also gonna enable the hidden tracking image that's in the email. So I'm going to show remote content. And at this point in GoFish, if we refresh, we can see that the, that the email has been opened. So already we know if our email has been successful. If we then click on one of the links inside the email, 
will, should be forwarded to our GoFish listener. So I've now been forwarded to this URL. And it looks pretty convincing. It's obviously not LinkedIn, but if we chose to clone LinkedIn, it would look just the same. If we look in the, up in the URL, there's definitely something going on here. But let's see what happens if we enter a username and password. And try and log in. So we get forwarded to the legitimate site, which is what we were expecting. But what's happened in GoFish? So now we're seeing that it says email status success. So what does that mean? If we go down here to details, we can look down here and it tells us exactly what happened. So we created the campaign, sent the email. It tells us when the email was opened and what time. It tells us when the link was clicked and whether or not they submitted any data. And we can view the data here of the log, log, which is the username, and the password there, which I entered. And those are both correct. Those are both what I answered. What you can also do is replay credentials. So if these were legitimate credentials, you can hit replay and hit OK, and it'll go ahead and automatically log you into that site with those credentials. Thank you for watching as always, and let us know what you think, and comment on anything you might want to see in the future. Don't forget to head over to the forums where we publish full written tutorials for everything that we upload. Get involved in the forum conversations and join in the growing community. We also have a huge announcement. From this Monday, we're going to be releasing a new weekly series. This new series will be called A Guide to Penetration Testing and will result in a full course leading you from start to finish about how to perform a penetration test. On the forums, there's going to be loads of extra information and a full discussion around each video. If this sounds interesting and you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to keep updated on each of these videos. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye.